Hey everybody, this is FHR Brony Brony Ready Controlling Cars, and today, uh, I know it's kind of dark, uh, but today I'm going to go ahead and make some, like, uh, some more RC content for you guys, and uh, currently I'm not at my, at my own house right now, I'm at the uh, apartment complex that I used to uh, live at uh, during my high school years, and uh, my mom still lives here, still technically, but um still my still my house at the same time but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and do an unboxing of a not a traxxas actually this is a kyosho mini z 4x4 toyota 4runner and uh i love 4runners and that's why i got one of these to add to my 4runner collection and i'm gonna do the unboxing off camera show you its contents okay so here are the um what you see here is what you get out of the box. You first of all, you got your instruction manual, um, and since Kyosho is a Japanese-based brand, there's going to be some Japanese writing here. So, all you anime fans out there can, <laughs> uh, can read Japanese and stuff like that. Um, so that's that's awesome. Like I said, this is my first uh, RC that's not Traxxas. My first hobby grade RC. That's not Traxxas since my Helion Animus. Uh, over here, it's a it's extra spacers for the motor and also gears, so uh, you can have more speed uh, or more acceleration for your truck. It's similar to what Traxxas does with uh, um, with their entry level models and other other RCs out there that you can actually adjust your gear ratio by just switching out the pinion gear and spur. Uh, unfortunately, you can't change the spur gear on this one, but you can change your gearing. Um, here's the controller. Uh, it's simple pistol grip. It's actually a four channel to my surprise. So I don't know what the four channel is. Uh, like I said, this is my first ever Kyosho uh, product. So uh, don't quote me on that because all of my other RCs have been Traxxas. Uh, but anyways, I actually like the grip on it. Nice uh, throttle control. Uh, um, steering right there, and then there you go. Pretty much that's all you gotta, gotta have just to get this thing running. Now, let's move this aside, because not everybody's interested in reading stuff and the controller and the, and the other things. You're really interested in the car itself. And look at this thing. This is so cute, actually. It's about as big as my the length of my hand so it's pretty small it's a 124 scale RC crawler actually you can see probably you may not see it but there's a lot of detail it's a it's a standard ladder chassis I'm gonna show you the box real quick and let me tell you the, the features that this thing actually has you have uh, coilover shocks that's one thing solid axles front and rear and a pretty much of a if you guys are into drifting, this is actually, look Look at how wide the steering angle is. That's like almost shopping cart, almost drift angle right there, steering right there. It's almost that. So, uh, that's the steering angle. We have 18 full ball bearings. You got a, an actual gearbox. Um, what else? Let's see here. Slipper clutch. Um, an ESC receiver and stuff. In the, and stuff all the things that makes a hobby great RC a hobby great RC and um, and um, this entire chassis is essentially just a 110 scale RC crawler that's just scaled down to to 124 and this is what the scale is is 124 this is about the same size as an axial S um, axial SCX 24 I think that's the model um, but anyways, unlike a 12 scale, a 12 scale, 10 scale RC crawler that normally would use body clips sometimes or magnets, this one actually is held down by little clips. Now it's gonna be a little bit difficult for me to get this thing out for my first time doing this, but I'm gonna do my very best to take it out myself because there's four tabs that I gotta pull out to get this body out. And I'll show you more about the Forerunner body in just a moment. As you can see, I got batteries on it already, but you can see a little bit more closer on what the chassis looks like. I'm gonna go uh, 
take the camera off my tripod and I'll show you guys a little closer look at it. Okay, uh, I got my flashlight on because this light right here is not doing justice at all. But um, like I said, this is just essentially a one tenth scale uh, crawling chassis. This is scaled down to one twenty fourth. And I gotta be honest with you, Kyokusho did a really, really good job of scaling down a one tenth scale uh, crawler layout. And oh, look at that. Look at that suspension too. I know it's friction dampers right there, but when you're crawling, you don't really need that. You don't really need oil shocks at all. This is perfect. Look at the flex too. Look at that. I can even lift one tire and the other three are still on the ground. Look at that. That's amazing. Anyways, the ESC, it's an all-in-one unit. It's actually an ESC and receiver. And then over here, you got your servo, which is actually a... Uh, chassis mount servo uh, just like my Traxxas TRX4 and as you can see there's that little motor that's the kind of same motor you'll see in some toy grade RC's and also some old some slot car toy grade slot car motors it's a I forgot what size that brush motor is but it's a it's pretty small it's basically about the same size as what I find in new bright RC's and stuff like that and all the, those toy grade stuff but and also you got a spare tire in the back. It's actually a full wheel too. So you can actually put this wheel, this tire on any of these four. It's amazing. I really, really like the attention to detail. When I first heard this truck coming out, just the chassis itself, I thought it was pretty, 124 is pretty small, but actually when I got it in my hands in person, it actually looked a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. So I'm really amazed how Kyosho was able to put a lot of detail onto this vehicle and I know Kyosho is really known for their uh, high quality uh, products I heard I heard really good stuff about them and their mini Z lineup is amazing there are a lot of details with their on-road cars I love it and going into the crawling world they did a really really good job at this and I'm saying this because a lot of people think that I'm a Traxxas fanboy and I'm a Traxxas guy or die but actually I actually like RCs in general. This thing actually looks really, really good. So Kyosho, you've done a really, really good job, first impression wise. You've done a really good job of making this truck really stand out. Anyways, I'm gonna put the body on and I'm gonna show you some more. All right, so with the body back in place, uh, if you guys were wondering what the heck this car is, this is an N60 or also known as the first generation Toyota 4Runner. And the first generation 4Runner came out from 1984 to 1989. Before the 4Runner was, this version of the 4Runner was discontinued to make the next generation 4Runner, the second gen, from 1990 to 1995, which is also the one that's on my TRX4 and also the current car I drive in real life. And I really do appreciate that attention to detail that Kyosho did. With the Toyota logo right there, the accurate headlight, the accurate grill, even the accurate proportions as what you find in the actual 1980, uh, 1983 or 1984 to 1989 Toyota 4 Runner, or also known as the first generation Toyota 4 Runner. Now, for you series 4 Runner, 4 Runner fans out there, this in real life. This back part actually takes off. You can actually remove this this part of the roof in real life on the real Forerunner. Can you do this in this one? No, unfortunately. But it, it does have that you know black black roof to let you know that hey, back in the 1980s, you can take this thing off. Or if you own a, a first generation Forerunner now, and look at that. Just look at that. Even the defroster lines, they really did not have to do that. Kyosho did not have to do that, but yet alone, they still did it. And remember, attention to detail is what brings this price tag to what it is right now. And um, uh, also, this one, this rear window does not roll down just like, you can't take this rear window down like how the uh, real forerunners do unfortunately but it's just it's just for show but still the attention to detail is still there it's also this one is an EFI uh, SR5 I see so I don't I know it's kind of blurry but it says EFI SR5 but I don't know 
specifically if this one is the one with the four cylinder or the one with the v6 um, because i know the forerunner aside from the hilux surf which is the japanese version of the forerunner um, aside from the diesel options i don't think this one is the one with the four cylinder i'm just assuming this one's the v6 uh, don't quote me on that because i don't own a first gen forerunner so for those who own a first gen toyota forerunner uh, and you guys are watching this video please let me know if this is the one with the v6 or the four cylinder because i know they did have the 22 re four cylinder and the 3 vze v6 that's also in my second gen anyways there's the forerunner logo right there i know it's kind of blurry but there's the forerunner logo right there wow i am so amazed on what toyota not toyota kyosho did when building this truck right here they also have a G, uh, a Suzuki Jimny and also a Jeep Wrangler actually. They did they also did, did a Jeep Wrangler a crawler of this exact same chassis. So, wow, I am so amazed on what Kyosho has done. First impressions Kyosho like this is coming from a guy who actually likes Traxxas. Who is a fan of Traxxas who's been owning all the his my RC collection is mainly Traxxas. And Kyosho comes here, knocks it out of the park. Amazing attention to detail. I wish Traxxas made a, a mini version of the TRX4. Um, and if they did, then I don't know if, they're, it's gonna, if it's gonna match as well as this one. But I am really impressed for first impressions wise. So Kyosho, you have done an amazing job on this one. Good job to you guys. So anyways, that's pretty much it and so that's the unboxing and my first impressions of the kyosho mini z 4x4 toyota 4runner specifically the first generation n60 toyota 4runner from 1980 1984 till 1989 this is the first generation 4runner okay and i'm really really love this looks and this actually fits perfect in my forerunner collection now i have the trx4 with a proline forerunner body 91 forerunner body i have this i got drawings of forerunners in my room and i also own a 1995 toyota forerunner and this will fit perfectly in my forerunner collection i'm really glad that i actually got this and good job kyosho for the attention to detail i really do like this but does the driving experience make up also make up for the $200 price tag that they say they they're asking for I'm gonna go ahead and review that I uh, but at first I'm gonna go take my time and do some couple of driving videos with this thing and see if it's really worth the $200 that Kyosho is asking we'll see about that until then I'll talk to you guys again soon